police officer for the city of Covina, assigned to patrol, and I've been here 26 and a half years. I had friends that were in law enforcement, so I went on ride-alongs with them and thought that it would be a, a fun place to work and just you know, an exciting, most exciting job to have. So I applied and fortunately got hired. The goal for myself, the department, would be to um, make you as uh, proficient in your job as possible and help you to promote if you would like. And as far as um, the people, basically what, to, what they would want you to do is be out in the field, make contacts with people, and hopefully build a good relationship with, with the uh, people who live in the city. Day to day, it could be not risky at all. It might be a nice calm day where it's not really risky, and then on the other days it could be you know, you're walking into houses that you don't know who's there. Um, you're making traffic stops, you don't know who's behind the wheel, you don't know if people have weapons, if they're going to be cooperative. So um, it just depends on the day, and it depends on you know, what you're responding to, what the people are. Like. It, uh, it all basically depends on the people you're talking to. And Yeah, obviously you need to stay in school, um, graduate. Yeah, I, I recommend that you go to college and get your degree first because it's so hard to go back to school after. Um, maybe get into some type of um, explorer program. Um, go to your local police department, see if they have an explorer program, get involved in that, and give you an idea of what law enforcement's all about and whether or not you really want to be in this profession. Obviously, like I said before, schooling is important. Um, the Explorer program is a great way to do it because when you get in the Explorer program, basically what happens is they will utilize you here for parades, traffic control, they'll teach you fundamentals of police work, the penal code, so you learn all about law enforcement, so it's a great way to get started if that's what you want to get to. I would think for me personally it would be just a matter of people trying to get all people together, um, being respectful towards each other and trying to get along as opposed to all of the different, um, well you're allowed to have your own opinion, but just the different philosophies. We just need to all get together and be able to positively impact this community or any community to make it a better place to live. I think by being proactive out in the field, by contacting people, um, making arrests when you have to, but more importantly, making contacts with the city, the people that live in the city and showing them that you are here to help, that you're just a human being doing a job trying to make this place a better place and a safer place for everybody to live. Well, spreading the word, practicing it is basically what you have to do. You have to be, you have to set the example. You need to be the person, the role model that shows everybody else what you think they should do. Not that they all have to act like you, but you just need to be that. As a professional, you need to be professional and show them that what you are doing is the right thing to do and hopefully everybody else will, will do what they think is the best and the right. You know, I think that it's just, I think we, as in law enforcement, just need to somehow convey to people that, that we're here to do a job and we're doing it the best we can. You know, sometimes things go wrong, we're not all perfect, but people that are in this profession are um, caring about people and are trying to do the right thing and make this, whatever city you work in, make it a better place for people to, to live and cohabitate.